My name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of this series, I'm going to be showing you how to get started creating your own motion graphics template in Adobe After Effects. So getting into After Effects, the first thing we want to do in a new project is just open a new composition. I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080, but you can use whatever size you want, and I'm just going to use a duration of about 10 seconds, and we can cut it down later to about 5. So on our new composition, I'm going to grab my rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to create a few shapes on this composition. So I'll just click and drag out the first one to kind of fill up half the screen. Now, if I want to make sure it's in the center, I can head over to the align panel on the right hand side and just align it vertically so it's centered like so. Now I'm going to deselect that layer and I'm also going to do the same thing just two more times. This time I'll fill in the other half and then I'll also do another one where I fill in just the kind of corner, keeping in mind the width of the borders to keep a nice balance of negative space. Now, if you want to make sure these layers are actually aligned perfectly, you can click and highlight two at once. I'm just holding Command or Shift. You can, right now you can see these two are highlighted and in the Align panel on the right hand side, I can select Align Top and it'll kind of push the tops together. And I can also select the first and the third layer and choose align bottom. That'll kind of push those together. And likewise, I can align the other two to the right. So now we've got these three shape layers breaking up our template, and we want to fill them in with a placeholder video clip. So I've just got a sample video clip on my desktop, and I can click and drag it into the project media bin. And from the project panel, I can drag it into my actual composition, and I'll put it all the way underneath all the shape layers. So now I'm going to head over to this track mat mode. If you don't see this, just right click the columns and make sure modes is checked on. And I'm going to select alpha mat shape layer one. What that's going to do is turn off the visibility of the shape layer, but it's going to use the shape of the shape layer to be the boundary for our video clip. So I can simply just repeat this for both of the layers. I'll click and drag each clip under its respective shape layer and just make sure I turn the alpha mat onto that shape layer. It just works with the one directly above it. So now I have all three clips filled in to all three shape layers. And it might look like we just filled it in as one big piece, but the cool part is all of these work as independent layers, which we can use later. In the negative space, we can also grab our text tool and write out whatever we want. So I can write out something like my name, and then also create another text layer and do presents or something like that. And in the character panel, I can adjust all things about the size and spacing of the text and even the font. So I made two different layers and I can use two different fonts if I want. In the next episode of this playlist, I'm going to show you how we can actually animate some of these shapes and text and then turn them into a motion graphics template that we can export out of After Effects. So I'll see you in the next episode.